Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how can you add two-factor authentication to your WordPress site for free with Cloudflare. So let's get started. So first you need to log into your Cloudflare account. <clears throat> and there is one requisite to it, you need to have your domain proxified through the Cloudflare net network, otherwise it will not work. So when you have it in your main dashboard, you see on the left side, uh, zero trust. So you click it and you go to Cloudflare zero trust. It is for free, but th there is a limitation, uh, maximum of 50, mu uh, 50 users. So when first you will have to sign up for the free access. Just click next, you type your access team. Go next. Come on. Probably I have to disable our block protection. I need to refresh the site again. Hopefully it will work. Now is it loaded and you select this free plan, which has a 50 user limit and you can do everything, everything here. So the standard and enterprise plan are for if you want to have some antivirus scanning uh, logs or you want to harden your internal web application. So we don't need it. We just go with the free plan. So select plan, proceed and purchase. What I recommend doing first in the Cloudflare Zero Trust is to set up your um, main team access. So we will do it with uh, access, access groups, and you you add a, a group. This is good because when you're going to create a new rule, you will define rules you want to have in each and every application you want to protect it. I'm going to go with the Webnestify training. It will be the default group. And here, group configuration. So. For me and for this training, we're going to use the email authentication. So we're going to select emails and you add your email that you wanna, want to use it. So I'm going to add my new one and you can also add any other emails or anything if you want to edit. And also, if you want to add your domain as you have some employees, you can select emails ending in and you just type your domain. So let's go back to this and uh, click save. Okay, now we have the group, which has our rule that cannot be, how to say it, it cannot be overridden. So in order to secure the WordPress, you need to go to uh, service authorizations. Uh, no, you go to applications in the access tab. You will add an application and you select the self-hosted. In this application name, I'm going to put that loopy admin. 
and the session duration is like the cookie how often you want to authorize so for me i like to as less as possible so i select one month and you type your domain for me is a webnestify.uk and now you put wp admin and here is the one-time pin so now we go next You type your policy name, this is going to be email, and here is your group settings that are your email. You go next and add an application. So now we secure the WP admin login page, and now we're gonna secure WP login.php because there's another way how you can log into your WordPress, and we don't wanna have it unconfig unconfigured. So we go WP login PHP session duration. We go for one month. We will select the domain, and now we type WP login that php go next we will select the email it's gonna be stay the same and now we will add application and now we go to the wordpress site to login as you can see, this is the standard default, so we try to refresh and it, it will ask for the email for the two-factor authentication, as, as you can see. Now we are losing, using WP, login PHP, and when we type WP admin, we will see the WP admin rule. So we go with mystify.uk slash WP admin. And you can see WP admin rule. So we will type our email and we will receive the code. So now let's wait for the code. It should be instantly almost. There we go. And we have our code. No singing. And Viola. You are in your WordPress dashboard. So I hope you like this tutorial. It is my first attempt, my first video. So please bear with me. Hopefully, I.